Hola, bienvenidos a mi canal. Um, today I filmed a like kind of a vlog, I don't know, kind of a vlog going to the domain in Austin and I went to Brandy Moville so I'm filming a haul. Um, your girl's really been going through it. A lot has happened, a lot is happening and I have felt very overwhelmed and me being a stereotypical girl, I went to the mall like to look around like for the experience anyways so this was actually my first time driving in Austin which was so great because I've been so sad and conquering this fear definitely cheered me up as well as hearing the news that my sister-in-law won her first basketball game and my good friend Abby she's been on this channel before she got promoted to assistant manager and she got her driver's license not too long ago and a new car so i mean i'll take whatever good news i can get oh here's a fit check but yeah there's some good news in case you needed some good news too <laughs> i know life can be hard um oh brandy melville here we go i was there for a really long time the sales associate probably thought i was a weirdo but it's fine i made sure to go at a time to the mall where like i knew it wouldn't be packed and so I basically had the whole store to myself for a little bit. Sometimes, you know, some moms came in and all that. But the reason I like going to the brandy store instead of just ordering online is because they have a lot more variety of things, I feel like, in, in the store. And then um, being that it's located like in Austin, they have a lot more Texas themed stuff and Austin themed stuff. All the stickers I got. <laughs> I wanted to take videos of like all the dogs. Oh, so I went to Lush. I didn't buy anything because each bath bomb, look at these peaches. Um, each bath bomb is like $13, which is like basically a shirt. But I did want to highlight some of the cool stuff I saw because I am a bath lover. So in an ideal world, I would buy bath bombs. Like these polar bears, definitely up my alley. They're supposed to smell like oat and lavender. So yeah, next stop, I think I went to H&M. I didn't buy anything. Um, I don't really like the fabric quality H&M anymore. So I'm really just going for the heck of it. <laughs> um, I saw these socks there though, and they looked just like Diesel. I thought they were so cute. And then I saw a squirrel. Yes, a squirrel. We stared at each other for like five minutes. I stopped by Forever 21 and I saw this sweatshirt and Wyatt's mom lives like 15 minutes away from Joshua Tree. So I thought it was cool, I tried it on, but I didn't end up buying it. They also had a really large Hello Kitty section. My nine year old self was thriving. Afterwards, I was really hungry, so then I went to the Jinya Ramen Bar. I go almost every time I visit the domain. I really like their level of spice in the tonkatsu. And I always finish my noodles. Kaylee fact number one. Afterwards, I was pretty pooped, so I just headed home. On to the hall. Um, I got these jeans. They are denim cargos. I recently gained weight, so I don't have a lot of jeans that fit me. I like the cargos because they add something. You know, it's not like just your typical pair of jeans. These have like extra pockets here on the side and then the back pockets and, um, I'm gonna crop them to be kind of like how these are and and I have a feeling they're gonna do like a really pretty flare I'm really excited about that Here's the brandy bag. Before anybody gets mad in the comments because I've shopped there. I like the quality, it makes me happy, so I'm sorry. So the first thing I got, I'm so excited about. I really love the Bella tops and this one is brown with black sleeves. It kind of reminds me of Diesel. It was like in the very back too and I was just like, you know, kind of looking through everything and making sure I don't miss anything. 
and uh, I saw it in the back and I snatched it so quick. I got this um, bell, I think it's called the bell tank. And I saw it last time I went with um, Wyatt and I contemplated getting it and I didn't get it. And then I was thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And here we are a couple months later, I got it. So ideally I would have gotten it in white, but they didn't have it in white anymore. Um, I'm sure that was like the first color to sell out because it's so versatile. So this is like an off-white cream color. It's really cute. It's a full length tank. Very dainty, you know. Next, I got this skirt. Really dainty skirt. I don't know what this is called. I think this is relatively new. Um, there's a cotton like in layer, and then, and then on the outside, it's like a like a mesh, but it's good quality in detail with a little bow so cute and I thought this would look really cute with like like a jean jacket and my cowboy boots that's why I got this specifically to wear with my cowboy boots I think that would look beautiful the last top I got I saw on the Brandy Melville Austin um, if you're in Texas I would recommend following the Austin page because they post like every so often and you kind of see what's in stock so you can run over there and go get it. Um, but I, I saw this on their Instagram and it had a bear and I was like, I need that shirt. I love bears. Um, if you've been subbed to my channel for a while, you'll know that. But yeah, I love bears and brown and this was both. So yeah, I thought that was really cute with like a flannel. The, the bins at the Austin location with the stickers, they don't really normally have a lot of variety, but I did grab like a handful. I got some like chill scent stickers and then I, I got several of the I'll meet you in New York stickers. I got them mostly because um, I have a Depop shop and, and I like to put these on the package, so packages. The last couple items I got are, if you're a guy, you can, um, you can just end the video here. Bye. Have a great day. Respect your girlfriends and wives. Anyways, underwear. Um, nobody I've seen on the internet has been talking about the underwear. Uh, maybe they suck. Who knows? But all I know is that all my Victoria's Secret underwear has been ripping and like only lasts me a couple months. So I'm like, this ain't it. You know, I don't think underwear should only last you a couple months. So um, I got a couple pairs with lace trimming this one and then i got this pair and it has a little i really like the little bows so this one's like this was the last like plain white one so i wanted to get that and each of these are five dollars which isn't that bad considering like victoria's secret and airy and stuff it's about like the same price target same price um and these are like nice nice quality cotton and the seams seem pretty secure. So hopefully they are, cause my cotton ones from Victoria's Secret, like I said, keep ripping, so. And then I got this one, it has like little peach flowers. Very cute, they're like um, like a hipster fit, you know? Kinda like little girls underwears. And then the last one I got was this green. It's probably my least favorite one, but I got it so that way I could at least have four. And the other, days of the week I'll so thanks for watching my video if you watched it all the way to the end I would love if you would subscribe and like the video and hope you're doing okay and that you're having an okay day and I want to remind you that you're beautiful no matter what size you are okay noodles Anyways, um, God loves you and he's there for you. Okay, bye. <laughs>